No but anyway, uh, going back to the Unraid 7.2 public beta, like I said, we've got RAID Z expansion now, so we can add single drives to VDevs and grow them that way. Um, long requested feature in the ZFS world, and we have it in Unraid. Web GUI, now it's fully responsive, so it works really well on mobile. That's really awesome. Now, a really exciting thing I think is there is the uh, new file system support. So we've got EXT234, NTFS, and XFAT now supported. So basically, you can drop in a Windows disk or a NAS disk without having to reformat them and have them in your Unraid array. So, and then have it protected by parity. So, yeah, I think it's a really cool idea to have that in Unraid. So, um, we can actually parity protect other systems as well. So, like old Windows machines. Um, if you're setting up from scratch, obviously, you'd add all of the drives and then, you know, you would have your parity and your build parity but what happens if you've already got an existing array and you just wanted to add something <laughs> so yeah you'd go to tools new config and you would preserve the current assignments you'd say to preserve everything and then that keeps all of the disks in the same order and then you would add other disks like your uh, ext4 disks you know disks from synology disks from windows and then you could uh, then start up the array and it will then you know, just build new parity. So for a little bit of time, you wouldn't be parity protected while the parity rebuilds. But then all of those disks, you might have some external drives some that you've had photos on over the years and stuff. And you can just pop them in the array. You've got parity protection. Really cool feature. I really like that myself. Really cool because I have an old Western Digital Caviar Black Caviar. caviar I don't know how to say it. That uh -huh. I don't know what to do with. And uh, I might actually update to 7.2 and give this a try. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. But like, like I say, it's, it's a good idea, I think, to kind of move all of the files in a disk when it's just lots of random things so you don't get a whole bunch of shares and you can just put it into, a, you know, make a directory on that disk and then move everything into it. Yeah. Um, I might do a, a video about that and um, all of these new 7.2 features, I think, on the Uncast channel. A little bit of a tutorial. Yeah, agreed. All right, question time. Go for it. So if you have BitLocker on the Windows drive, do you have to decrypt the drive before you put it into Unraid? Or can, is there a capability in Unraid to decrypt the drive when it's put into the uh, array? That's a really good question. I don't believe there is an ability to decrypt the drive. You would have to uh, decrypt it in BitLocker. I would say probably you would have to decrypt it first. Because yeah, yeah, that makes sense. We use Lux encryption and... Um, you know, BitLocker is obviously not Lux, so 